All right. Well, hello there, and thanks for coming by and having tea with Linda and Spencer. Today, we'll be having a delightful tea from T2, so stick around. We'll be right back. Today we will be having Sydney breakfast tea. <laughs> tea to Sydney breakfast. Fresh, bright, and bold. This is the character of Sydney in a tea. A warm, full body blend with a delicious hint of bergamot to send your senses sailing around the border. Oh, around the harbor, pardon me. <laughs> How to brew one teaspoon per cup, 212 for two to four. Our ingredients are black tea, natural bergamot. So this is an Earl Grey. Well, the Australians were British. I dented the, I dropped it and dented wow. my can. Wow. 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 Oh, let me show you the tin. So. Oh, it's loose. Yes. Hence the tea maker. Yeah. I wasn't paying too much attention. Made from plants. Home compostable. Is that the tea or the bag? Sure. That actually smells really nice before you put your nose up to it. It has a, it has that bergamot smell, but it's not overwhelming. I mean, it feels like plastic. Excuse me. Nah, it smells fine. I don't know. I guess I'm intrigued by this time. Yeah. All right. Spoon for spoons. Spoon for me. We'll put our lid back on and have fun for you and me. Rah, 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 rah. All right. Hey Siri, set a timer for three and a half minutes. Three and a half minutes, starting now. All right. So three minutes is the middle one, so we'll take it a little bit after that. If this is your first time with the channel, thank you very much for coming by and spending some of your precious time with Spencer and I. Um, we know you have a lot of different reviewers that you can look at, watch, make fun of, but we appreciate that you've come over here to make fun of us. So thank you very much. Um, my name is Linda. I am, in fact, a hot tea addicted, porcelain loving potter who is obsessed with anything and everything that has to do with tea and, frankly, Disney. Yes, I am a Disney adult. I have mom armed my eldest son, Spencer, here, the bland looking one, into going on this tea scapade with me almost four years now to you know, broaden our palettes, our clean waistlines. Out, clean out the cabinet. Clean out the cabinet, only I've made it worse. Hey Siri, stop timer. Okay, so our three minute timer has elapsed. So I neglected to show you. In the gutter, sorry the leaves the uh, destroyed remnants from the ground remnants not grounds um rolled. no these are i mean they're leaves um they're cut you know they're not whole leaves but they're cut leaves um but you know they've they've plumped up quite well yeah they do have a good plumpage you know it's we've seen worse we've had worse that has a smell to it. Um, you can smell the bergamot from here now that it's been dispensed. And it's not overwhelming like some of them are. Um, the tea is not quite the yum yum color. It's really close. It's like a click off from it. Um, I am not seeing any particulate in it. Like I said, I can smell the bergamot, but it's, it's not overwhelming. Um, oh no, you just, you just throw the bag away. Oh, so the tin, oops, sorry. The tin's recyclable, but the bag is trash. I'm guessing that, I guess that meant the tea leaves are 
compostable then. Well, of course the tea leaves are compostable or they're organic. Oh, well, yeah, but I was guess I was confused as to why is the bag compostable? Because it well, just felt like plastic. Anyway, <laughs> I misread that. Pardon me. <laughs> it tastes like a good quality Earl Grey. I wish there wasn't as much bergamot in it so that I could taste the tea a little bit more. But it is smooth it's not bitter um i could see putting lemon and honey in there without any issue um you know it's sturdy enough for that but yet it's light enough if you don't want to if you wanted to drink it naked like this um i just i just wish the bergamot wasn't quite as much um but other than that i'm you know it's it's a nice cup of bergamot i mean it's a nice it's a nice breakfast tea. What do you think about the tea? Well, it's so good it's boring. All right, well. It's, it's easily recommendable. It tastes good. It's not offensive. It could, as Mom said, it could probably stand up to a lot, but that's about it. It's, it's so good it's boring. I mean, and it's a good quality, so. Um, I mean, really boring is not the right word, but it's the closest one. I can it, it's a nice, it's a nice Earl Grey type tea. Um, the reason it's a breakfast tea is because it's a blend of teas, um, or else it would just be an Earl Grey. Um, probably why they're calling it a Sydney breakfast tea. Um, but it's it's good. I'm enjoying it. Um, but like I said, wish they dial back that bergamot just a touch. Um, all right. Anything else? I might finish this. Well, thank you so much for coming by and having a cup of with Spencer and I today. We appreciate that you've taken time from your busy schedule to spend it with us. So thank you very much for that. Um, come on back on Wednesday when we have the Singapore series and we'll see you then. Bye.